Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anshika Mishra. Here's what I bring to you from the world of medicine. Can coffee improve muscle function? A research consortium led by Nestle Research in Switzerland and the Yong Lo Lin School of Medicine, National University of Singapore, recently discovered that the natural molecule trigonellin, present in coffee and also in the human body, can help to improve muscle health and function. The study published in the journal Nature Metabolism describes sarcopenia, a condition where cellular changes that happen during aging gradually weaken the muscle in the body and lead to accelerated loss of muscle mass, strength, and reduced physical energy. Independence. One important problem during sarcopenia is that the cellular cofactor NAD plus declines during aging, while mitochondria, the energy powerhouse in our cells, produce less energy. To understand the functional impact of trigonillin, researchers supplemented aged mice with dietary trigonillin. After just five days, there was a notable increase in the expression and activity of mitochondrial oxidative phosphorylation in skeletal muscle. Over a 12-week period, dietary trigonelline supplementations raised trigonelline level in plasma, liver and muscle without any signs of toxicity. Further, chronic trigonelline exposure significantly boosted NAD plus levels in the liver, which significantly increased the grip strength of the forelimb muscle in aged mind. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possesses in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. The findings indicated that chronic trigonelline administration mitigates muscle decline during aging by stimulating mitochondria and increasing muscle performance and resistance to fatigue during high-intensity contraction. Supplementing with this molecule increased NAD plus levels and helped maintain muscle mass. NAD plus levels can also be increased through various dietary precursors like L-tryptophan and different forms of vitamin B3 such as nicotinic acid, nicotinamide, nicotinamide riboside and nicotinamide mononucleotide. Our findings expand the current understanding of NAD plus metabolism with the discovery of trigonelline as a novel NAD plus precursor and increase the potential of establishing interventions with NAD plus producing vitamins for both healthy longevity and age-associated applications, said Assistant Professor Vincenzo Sorrentino from the Health Healthy Longevity Translation Research Program at the NUS Medicine. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.